the gods created the Empyrean Stone to purposefully create monsters and give all of humanity magic so that they would be able to defeat them. For what purpose? To give them something else to fight other than themselves. Because when humanity was the only thing thriving in the world, it still wasn't enough. The human race becomes greedy and jealous and vengeful and they desire more and more and more. So what do they do? They take away from other humans so that they could become more powerful. They don't care about equality, they just care about themselves. So the monsters were created so humanity would have a common goal, so it would bring out the better in people But is that really right? To be destroying all of these monsters for all of eternity? To be living in fear? Is humanity really that hopeless? To where that's the only option? Having all of our lives at risk every single day just so we could work together and get along? After how long this has been going on, and after everything that's happened, I have faith that humanity has learned from their mistakes and will grow into a better society than ever before. Even if the Empyrean Stone was truly given to us by the gods to protect us from ourselves, I don't think there's any more need for its services, especially considering that death and destruction awaits us in the future as soon as Destiel resurrects herself. So for that reason, it's time to destroy the Empyrean Stone. We must destroy it! Destiel cannot be reborn! Wait! But mankind will destroy itself then. Things may be different this time around. We can't defy the gods! I don't see any gods here stopping us. Do you? If they didn't want the stone destroyed, why give us a sword that can destroy it? They've given us the power of choice. Father said the gods gave mankind the deluxe caliber at the beginning of time. He said it has the power to help us shape our world. Do you think we can create our own destiny? The monsters kept us from destroying ourselves but they also halted our progress. I have faith in mankind. We won't make the same mistakes our ancestors made. might happen. Magic's disappearing. Zuzu! My goodness! What? What's happening? Her body is only held together through magic. And if magic leaves this world... What? No! Someone do something! Zuzu! It's okay. It was fun while it lasted. 
This can't be happening. Zozo, keep your eyes open. It's so peaceful. I can see a bright light. There's a field of flowers. Th that's a good thing, right? Right? Zozo, stay with us. Quick, before magic's gone for good! You! Queen Destiny! No, no, it's me! Coco! This is my real body! I'm just returning milks! Here you go! I thought I was a goner. Zozo! You're alive! And you're kinda cute now. You like sages? And the sins just keep on coming. Get in line. My lady still owes me a date first. You men don't waste any time, do you? I guess without magic, me and Milk are gonna start aging again, huh? This sucks. Tell me about it. I can't communicate with my cuddly animal spirits anymore. Don't worry, sis. We'll be fine without magic. Sisters? So your sister stole your body? Yep. How dysfunctional. Aren't family reunions the best? No complaints here. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Deluxia is safe. The steel's gone for good. Things are back to normal. I can't wait to greet my adoring fans. They're gonna love me. I was thinking, if you all want to stick around, I could use some help ruling. Don't worry, Solange. We aren't going anywhere. Guys, they want us out on the balcony. And that is Code of Princess. Oh my god. She's good, a uh, guest character design. I've seen this ending however many times, and I've never noticed that. Is that only in the Switch version? Because I refuse to believe I did not notice. She's good, uh? Really? Seriously? What the fruit? I don't even- I'm trying to have like this big dramatic speech for the end of the LP, but no, I'm just like completely distracted by Cheese Gouda. What? Okay, I'll, I'll- we'll forget about that for now, but what the fruit? Alright, this game- I don't even need to say anything that has been said already. I absolutely adore it, even though it's just like that one under the- stairwell under the rug game that nobody knows about it was just something that clicked with me i don't know why i adored it so much the music's amazing the characters are funny the graphics are really good the gameplay is really fun and i don't know it more so became a running joke just to bring up this game over and over with my friends it, i don't think this is like the greatest game of all time by any stretch but it's one that i truly truly love and i have so much fun with and so many fond memories came out of it just from holding on to it, from choosing this one game to be that one obscure game that I liked and nobody else even knew about. And to have it evolve into so much more, I know I've said that so many times already, but to have it get a remake on the Switch, to have it have like a spiritual successor in Blade Strangers where these characters could get more recognition, I just can't believe that this game wound up evolving into something so much greater. As for this ending, it's... Which, it scared the heck out of me first time playing, the fact that I didn't even take Zozo's body into consideration. I thought I seriously killed her and that she was going to die. 
I felt so stinking horrible and I was gonna lose her. It was not a good time for Midnight and Beyond the first time playing this game. But thankfully it got all sorted out. I was freaking out hardcore for sure, but thankfully it all worked out in the end. It was a trip to say the least. So this Let's Play may be wrapping up for now, but there is still a lot of bonus stuff that I want to show off. There are a lot of missions you could do in mission mode, it's just for fun, and I'm going to be showing off every single one of them. That will probably be done in the form of a live stream, because it's all battling, there's no more story or anything to show off, so it's just going to be battling and battling and battling. And level grinding probably, so I might be leveling up characters to level 99 and getting the best equipment available for them. I would also like to have bonus videos, there are specific uh, bonus quests that are only, or mission modes that are accessible only to multiplayer. I'd like to have some guests on for that, some uh, fighting game enthusiasts and also uh, Code of Princess enthusiasts, because believe it or not, I'm not the only one. There are uh, Code of Princess uh, competitive players that would be very well suited for that uh, special bonus episode. I'd like to talk about voice actors because uh, that's something that's very important to me, just talking about voice actors and stuff, and this All-Star Castle, I'll talk about that at a later point. Um, anything else that might happen? I'm not sure. There's a lot of bonus stuff that's going to be happening. I'm not sure when it'll happen, if it's going to be immediately after, or if it'll be over time. Year 7 has not started on the... Uh, has not had the best of starts. There's going to be a lot of stinging editing from here on out now that I finally have Code of Princess recorded. It's time to edit a buttload of stinking LPs. I have the majority of the LPs of Year 7 already recorded, and now it's just going to be editing central. Hopefully, uh, once it's all ironed out, it'll be smooth sailing, and I really, really hope that you enjoyed this game. Even if you don't enjoy playing it, I hope you just enjoyed watching someone who's really passionate about this game that you may not have heard of, and just experiencing a story you never heard of before, experiencing uh, characters that you've never seen, and just... Uh, having me talk about something that you may not have known about. It was just so much fun getting to share this game with other people and getting to uh, introduce it to people. And having people message me over and over whenever they uh, get Code of Princess or Blade Strangers or whenever Code of Princess goes on sale, it never gets old to get those messages. I absolutely love them and I just love this game so much and everything that came from it. But for now, our journey in Deluxia has come to an end. Thank you all for watching my Let's Play of Code of Princess. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see all of you next Let's Play. Sweet dreams. And we unlocked Schwartz in multiplayer mode. Took long enough. And Golgius, whatever that is.